Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's make sure we're live and we are indeed. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome to another live stream. And this is Chicho, of course. Right. Today is October 24th, 2020, and we're back at the liquor cabinet. And as you can tell, our liquor cabinet has expanded a little bit this year from this to this and this <laughs> right awesome awesome uh so what we're gonna do i've made uh, basically everything you see here is new from this year right this summer we put together so they've been sitting for anywhere between a few weeks to two to three months so we're going to be sampling them just to see if uh, they taste fantastic a couple of them we've been sampling for a little bit of time we sampled them through the summer they were um what did we make? We made some strawberries and cherries and we've been sampling them. Very nice. Very nice. And we actually topped up one of them as well. Okay. And uh, we're just going to go through the liquor cabinet and I ended up getting some pomegranates. So we're going to make pomegranate liqueur as well. Okay. So we're just doing a little house cleaning, sampling, adding and whatnot. And we've done a few of these now uh, with the liqueur. Uh, making liqueur and sampling liqueur and going through a recipe and uh, while we wait for notifications to go out as people start rolling in let me give you guys uh, my little intro if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o uh, if you want to support this project if you want to follow this project what this is all about is sort of later on mathematics and decentralization and sharing information and whatnot patreon is a fantastic way to do so you can follow the work i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike and after a while following this work if you think this work deserves uh, support uh, patreon is a good way to go we are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. And if you want to participate in the chat, it's going to pop up here at some point, <laughs> right? Twitch is where you want to be at. And uh, for those of you who've been following, supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the follows. Thank you very much for the bits and mods. Thank you for taking care of business and uh patreon thank you for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon uh we appreciate it a lot and because hi cheryl how are you doing like now hi <laughs> how's life i've been looking forward to this i've been making check this out this is this is what we were working with before for the last well this is what we've had i've had for the last few years i've added a lot it's it's grown slowly and this year we added a whole new section to our liqueur cabinet <laughs> so there's um we've been sampling during the summer some of the stuff we made early in the summer they're fantastic cheryl the strawberry is insane so good raspberry oof oof hello zach how are you doing the ripper birdie here how are you doing i guess notifications have gone out sometimes a little slow on twitch Rendell, thank you very much for the uh, for the tier one sub. Do a little thank you. What did we get? We got a emote. <laughs> that looks like anime. <sighs> Hello, Chicho and chat. Hope you're doing well, Rendell. Ripper, I'm well, Chicho. Notifications are out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, people are rolling in now. Nice, nice. Lordies, man. Hello, hello. Hannah, how's it going? I'm making some cit uh, citron liqueur right now. Awesome awesome carlos how's it going hello yeah hell yeah caught another live stream what's going on chicho good afternoon good afternoon with you as well uh and good afternoon my part of the world as well and good evening for those of you who are watching uh later in the evening in different parts of the world lonely piggy how are you doing any peach liqueur plans for the future um uh, i should but i haven't yet i've made apricot and apricot's pretty good we made ap apricot this year we're planning on making peaches but we weren't able to hook up with uh, the farm that was doing peach deliveries. Like they were coming in, they were sending out notifications saying that we're gonna be in this location if you wanna buy a box of um, peaches and stuff. And we just weren't able to arrange it, right? Um, 
We will at some point. Ding Bobber, how are you doing? Chicho, I broke my foot. What? No way, Ding Bobber. How'd you break your foot? Skateboarding? What did you do? Cheryl, oh. And and you were were on and you were on Patreon. Sorry for interrupting. Oh no no no. It's okay. <laughs> Eduardo, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, hey chat. Everclear plus tequila plus sugar plus two citron chop. Nice. Ding bower. I have a special air cast that is allowing me to to be quite mobile uh, despite the broken foot. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Crack. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Evening. Do da. Hello, hello. Ripper. The allergic to peach. I'm allergic to peaches. Oh no. So I'm good with uh, apricot. Apricot. Delicious. Delicious. Delicious 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 Graham how's it going brother hello I feel like it's been a while it has been a while it feels like it that way Graham do that is, is it a liqueur night it's a liqueur afternoon for me we'll see we'll see where we end up I've been planning to have a liqueur party with friends and stuff but because of you know what's going on we haven't really been entertaining uh, friends are going to be pretty happy when we do throw one up, right? Uh, when we do throw one up, like here, I barely know her. <laughs> Zach, once you get hooked, uh, it's over, right? The hospital just said it was a fracture. Oh, okay, I have an appointment to discuss uh, specifics in five days. I'm uh, taking it, uh, taking it in stride. I'm gonna uh, surprise you. Awesome, Ding Bobber. And breaking feet and toes and stuff is nasty, man. They take forever to heal. Right. I broke I've broken my toe playing soccer so it takes a long time man Chicho lots of really interesting but time-consuming things happening over here in my school and my mission good 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 the interesting part good time-consuming not so much Donita how are you doing they do damn yeah they do think Bobber you gotta take it easy I thought it would heal in maybe a few weeks Um, uh, my toe took a few months <laughs> just because I was banging it around I they would adjust it and I banged it, broke it again, and then I did it like twice because I it was I have a hard time staying still, right? Uh, even harder when I was younger, so I just let it be and it took forever. Greetings from Oregon, my friend. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Kebab, Chicho. Have you tried olive infused liqueur? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, damn. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, just take it easy on it, thing, Bobber. Just take it easy on it. Uh, I do have olives to snack on here. I got a lot of snacks here. Here's olives here, black olives. With liqueur, you know, when you're drinking, sometimes you just need different types of snacks. I got some, uh, here, I'll show you what I got before we continue. I got cheese and sourdough bread. Very nice, very nice. I got some walnuts. Drinking walnuts, nuts, any type of nuts is fantastic, right? Uh, made some cuckoo, cuckoo with zreshk, right? Got some cuckoo snacks, and I got some cookies here as well. Me and my girlfriend are thinking of starting our first liqueur. Which do you recommend we do first? Pineapple sounds like a, pineapple's fantastic. Strawberry uh, is ready the quickest that I found. Strawberry Speedy Gonzalez. Happy Saturday, Chicho. Keep missing lives. Good thing you have YouTube. Good thing, good thing. And BitChute. Don't forget BitChute. Oh boy, a new liquor stream. Only one week until the sober October ends. Awesome, Coolio. Double egg and baby pickles. Yeah. Oh, I should have brought some pickles. Oh, well. I have, we have lots of pickles, as you know, right? Homemade sour. No, not homemade. We do have a starter, sourdough starter. We just haven't made it yet. Pineapple and strawberry, Coolio says, have been my favorite so far. Pa strawberry and pineapple, very delicious. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Hello Minds, BK Parlor, Gab, and Twitter. You can follow the work there. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, and we have visuals today, for live streams where we're just doing open discussions, maybe personal finance, uh, politics, music, movies, whatever it is, we upload the audio to SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And uh, those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to both 
BitChute and YouTube. And if you want to support this work on those platforms, you can follow, you can share, you can like, you can comment. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. Okay. Aside from that, gang, welcome, welcome. Hey, Chicho Felix, how are you doing? Haven't been uh, on a stream on, in a while. Definitely caught a good one this time. Yeah, Felix. If you want to just nice and chill, right? I have... Uh, I may have asked uh, asked before, but have you ever done kiwi liqueur? I did kiwi and uh, mandarins, right? Let me take these down. Here, I'll show you. And it, it was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't phenomenal. I thought it was going to be like did this, right? And w I've been sampling it, and it was it was really good. Uh, and there's kiwis in there. They're just pale now, right? See the kiwis, and it was good. Um, it was good as a summer. And it was really good when I used it with ice, put it in a you know cup like this and sh 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 swirl around with ice. It was very refreshing, Coolio. It was very refreshing. So it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, gang, because I gave the intro early on, as you can tell, the liqueur cabinet has grown, <laughs> right? This is what we were doing before. Uh, all of that that you see there we made this summer uh we, i sort of sort of went ballistic with it before, because we were getting our hands on really good fruits uh so it couldn't help it had to make more right so we made a whole bunch and i ended up getting some pomegranates so what i'd like to do right now is just make some pomegranate pomegranate liqueur because the pomegranate liqueur we have over here, here i'll show it to you oh for some reason my think paused fan how are you doing fan james bond snake eye do it yourself hello hello welcome welcome ground do you drink much iced tea up there in canada some uh i bet a nice tea uh cut with uh liqueur would be really refreshing and awesome on a weekend possibly i do cut the liqueurs uh, make it more fizzy with club soda and stuff so basically club soda pop liqueur like it's not strong and it's very very refreshing for the summer um as far as pomegranate goes ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, here's our pomegranate from 2018 right and this has gone through a, a few iterations okay and you can tell it's gotten pale and stuff like this so we need to make a new batch of uh, pomegranate liqueur oh that's good too yeah with club soda is amazing uh graham by the way is the strawberry your favorite one um strawberry is crazy delicious if you're in a if if you want to get into a good mood like just have like if you remember you know when you i don't know it's, it's strawberries sometimes you get amazing batches sometimes you get not so amazing batches of strawberries depending on the season just imagine the most amazing strawberry you've ever eaten the liqueur is better <laughs> the flavor of the strawberry is so powerful it's just absolutely amazing right and we've I, we made two big batches and i'll show it to you guys okay i'll show it to you guys so right now i just want to make some pomegranate liqueur okay gang just uh, and the pomegranates are fantastic like these guys take a look i just cleaned these this morning they're a little bit expensive right now see the juice on them oh so good so good i'm not gonna tilt this too much right so super super nice okay unfortunately i'm out of really big bottles right so i'm gonna be putting them in uh just uh one liter mason jars i'm gonna make two of these i think Let's make two of these. So let me make myself some room here. Oh, I gotta go get myself a, a spoon where I can scoop it in in bigger than what I have here. So I'm just gonna disappear for about five seconds and be right back. Box office. Some strawberries smell rancid right away. Uh, hit or miss for me. Yeah, th that's the way it is for me too. But the liqueur strawberry, phenomenal. too big of a spoon uh, because 
the lid for this is not uh, too big, right? I never made mine on the curry before, but I made some uh, candied orange peel today. And uh, good Lord, they're, they're nice. We've got some, uh, I made some orange liqueur as well. I think I did anyway. So let's pour the pomegranates in here. Okay. Get some of the juices in there. I think we're gonna make two, two of these jars. Maybe we just make one because I really want to eat a lot of pomegranates. This is the first pomegranates we got this season. It just started, so I mean, take a look at that. Look at the juice in there, right? I don't know if you can see it. There's lots of reflection, right? The juice is all the way up to here, right? So let me put this here. I'm going to put some sugar in this and then we're going to pour some vodka in this. So I got my ice here too. I'm surrounded by things right now. I'm gonna make myself a ice drink as well, uh, just because we need to be sampling. But I thought we'd get this out of the way first, right? Jalapeno, oh, Graham. I don't know how jalapeno would taste. If you do end up making it, let us know. And I'm just, again, I'm using organic cane sugar, okay, again? And just organic cane sugar. Okay. Cane sugar is uh, nice and sweet. So it's sweeter in general than, uh, uh, than processed sugar, like white sugar. Uh, Ripper, Chicho, I never had pomegranates until I saw your pomegranate yogurt video. I absolutely love them now. So thank, oh, my pleasure, Ripper. Pomegranates, uh, amazing, amazing, right? So let's do this here. So what am I gonna put in there? This is half a cup. I'm just gonna be careful with this because I don't want sugar all over the place. Here, we'll bring it over so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I put half a cup. I'm gonna put three quarters of a cup, okay? And then we'll pour the vodka on top. Whoop. Filling it up. I should just pour the vodka in there first because it'll take down the sugar, right? Okay, let's put this here. Let's put this here. Boop. So, I had a little bit of vodka left from the 60 ouncer. So I'm gonna finish this off. Tequila. So let's finish this off. The vodka is trying to break through the sugar ba um, barrier, right? We'll see the bubbles come up at some point. Come on. Dissolve away. Nice. <laughs> this is going to be super delicious. Let's crack open a new one. I just bought a 26er. Well, I'm not going to make any more. Box office. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. give it a little help let's give it a little help <laughs> let's put this guy in now we can fill it all up Nice, nice, nice. Let's close the 
this off for now so we don't accidentally bump it. So again, I'm just going to shake it and right is absolutely your voice. It is. It is. Uh, it's reasonably priced. I trust it. Um, in my part of the world, it's really expensive, like alcohol. It really, it's crazy expensive. So, and I find uh, I find that it doesn't have a lingering effect, right? I.e., very no hangover unless you really go over the edge. For me, anyway, right? Right. So that's one price. So here, compare this, right? So this is the new one. This was the old one, right? Check it out. So new one, old one. And this is from 2018. And it's already gone. You know, we drink drink the liquid. And then when it reaches around here, I fill it up again with uh, vodka. Sometimes I add more sugar. Sometimes I don't, right? Sometimes I don't want it to be too sweet. Sometimes I want it to be sweet, right? So in two years, I don't know how many iterations we've gone of this. Uh, this is how the color is and I'm glad to have another one on the go nothing wrong with a margarita margaritas are delicious so let's put this guy here we'll put this guy over here for now and I'll put the label on it should we make one more how much pomegranates do we have I'm gonna make one more just because I might as well have the pomegranate liqueurs they're really good right do you drink some every no Graham I don't drink every day no 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 drinking every day I don't think is a good idea personally uh, I have in the past uh, but as I've gotten older uh, I decided to chill the F down right the body drinking every day your body is not gonna it's not gonna do well I had a little bit of sugar spillage here so I'm gonna uh, pour this into the pomegranates <laughs> nothing wrong with a little bit more sweetness yeah so I don't drink every day no and I don't recommend drinking every day okay if you if you have like two three drinks a day you're as good as an alcoholic to a certain degree right your liver is not going to be happy with you right I don't drink alcohol at all, but I was just uh, curious. Yeah, I, and I, there was times where I did drink a lot of day, uh, and a lot of days. Uh, I don't recommend. Crack, uh, agree, Chicho. Got to take it easy a bit as you get older. Indeed. So the problem with one thing that happens uh, in life is you'll notice that we're running out of pomegranates. I don't know if I want to use it all up. Maybe we'll make a half one. Um, but one of the things is people refuse to accept time. As you get older, your behavior should change. If you continue to do the same things that you're doing when you're 40, 50, 60, as you were when you were doing 20, you haven't learned your lessons yet. Uh, you need to adjust because there's a lot of amazing things that you can start doing as you get older that you wouldn't have done when you were younger right so you just substitute certain pleasures with other pleasures certain habits with other habits you know what I'm gonna just do this much on this one because I want to have enough pomegranates to eat they're really delicious <laughs> right? so they're fantastic and this was the first batch. There were these pomegranates. Unfortunately, I bought like they were big, right? Um, but uh, two of them, when you cracked them open, they were they weren't good. Uh, so I couldn't use two of them, and they were expensive because they're the first batch coming in. Some people swear by a glass of wine every day for heart health and other stuff, but to each their own. Yeah, a glass of wine maybe, but here's the thing, right? Certain foods might be good for certain uh, things in your life, right? So glass of wine, good for the heart. But is putting alcohol in your system for your kidneys to process every day good? Uh, I would question that, right? So be careful when you hear people saying, oh, this is really good for this organ in your body. 
because you have to consider it might not be good for other organs in your body okay I'm just gonna put half a cup in this because it's not a full uh, full uh, amount of pomegranates so we'll put this away put the sugar away put the lid on it I'm gonna put the lid on the pomegranates I might actually grab some and munch on it right now. Where's my vodka? There's my vodka. Adjusting away from alcohol, maybe, maybe my sixties elder gone. <laughs> How long should I wait until it's ready to drink? Uh, pomegranates, I would say at least a month. Okay. Uh, strawberries, it, it was within two weeks. It was delicious. Within three weeks, it was gone. Not, not three weeks gone within within four weeks it was gone within three weeks it was crazy delicious right a jar like this would be gone it was, it was gone right it was gone pretty uh pretty speedy gonzalez style i used to love dark uh dark beer i haven't been able to uh uh able to for uh, years now crack says i really just started uh sitting uh, really poorly with me sitting really well yeah beer I find heavy I don't drink beer really uh, anymore seldom anyway right give it a shake when I have beer now it has to be uh, lighter beer really makes me feel bloated and uncomfortable yeah me too crack me too right bumbleo hello hello flip Razzi, welcome, welcome. There we go. Nice. So let's just write down our information on here. Pomegranates, uh, 2000 and, 2020, October. Uh, pomegranates, 2020, October. Um, Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup sugar. That's the big one. Okay, just crappy writing for me. I mentioned that at some point I was gonna granites. At some point I was gonna create legit labels for these, but I haven't. October, uh, and that was half a cup. Half a cup sugar. Okay. Now let's get into sampling. Let's get into sampling. My raspberry didn't stand a chance. <laughs> neither, neither the vodka or gin version stood a chance. <laughs> you drank it all up, yeah? Cheryl? <laughs> Since you brought up raspberry, let me show you. I think we got raspberry. I got raspberry here. Where's my raspberry? Grape. I got a raspberry. I should have raspberry. Ah, there it is. Here's our raspberry. The raspberry is crazy delicious. Crazy delicious. This is, uh, I, I f we filled it up more. We took it down and we filled it up. And this was in July 2020. Okay. Uh, half a cup sugar, one quart uh, fruit. So I, I even made it more legit for this one. <laughs> July 2020. Let's have a sampling of this. So good. Gamer Paradise for Tony, how you doing? Hey Chicho, first time chatting the live stream. Love the content. Oh, tight, tight, tight. Okay, let's try this again. Either I'm getting weaker or this is sealed. Let's check it out. Let me do it here. Ah, oh, there we go. Sketchy, sketchy. By the way, 420 uh, Gamer, we harvested one of our plants. We harvested one of our plants. We got two more, three more plants drying. Texas Time Warp. Not Texas Time Warp. Texeda Time, Texeda time Warp. <laughs> this is one of the plants. I shared the pics, right? Texeda Time Warp. Very nice. Very nice. Let's have some raspberry liqueur. Do you drink any Polish alcohol? I've drank some uh, Polish vodka. Polish vodka is really nice. Polish vodka is delicious. 
Let's bring out the red. Let's bring out the red for the raspberries. We go for double chocolate milk stout. Oh, delicious, Gina. Chocolate stouts are good, but only one. I'm not going to bring it on top of the computer on f because I don't want to have any spillage. Usually I would bring it really close to the camera, but this time we won't. Oh yeah, I got to take it easy on this. We got a lot of sampling to do. So check out the color on this, All right? Check out the color. Beautiful. Look at that. All right? Very nice color. Even with the second iteration, it's stronger, uh, but phenomenal. So nice, so nice. So nice. Okay, that doesn't need anything. <laughs> this, is, this is perfect the way it is. We're gonna be sampling this more. I wish we made more raspberry, really. So that's our raspberry. I ain't gonna do anything to this. And one of the reasons we're doing this is because I, I wanna go through the liqueurs and if anything needs a little bit more vodka or a little bit more sugar or a shake, I just do it, right? It's sort of maintaining the thing. Skellog, how are you doing? Good to be here. Hope all is well. Doing well, doing well. Thank you very much. Color and thickness, perfect. It's beautiful. This thing's beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, we're going to put this one back. Cornelian cherry. I just made the Cornelian cherry. It's uh, how many weeks ago? About uh, three weeks ago. So might as well give it a sample. Okay. I'm going to put this cup here. I got, a, I got a lot of sampling cups here, by the way. So let's bring out the Cornelian chair. Check this out. Look at that beauty. And I have some Cornelian cherry from before. Take a look. This is the Cornelian cherry. Okay. And this one, uh, September. Uh, so last month. Okay, I didn't put the day on it, but it was like mid-September. I went and harvested some Cornelian cherries, made some Cornelian jam. And uh, let me see if I can find the other Cornelian cherry here. Da -da 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 Where's my other Cornelian cherries? Oh, here we go. Check it out. This is the Cornelian cherry. Oh, I added more vodka in July. <laughs> Check this out. Cornelian cherry. I put 10 out of 10. I sort of rate these afterwards. I should rate the raspberry, but phenomenal right 10 out of 10 i added more vodka in july and already took it down right already took it down so this is the color difference right new old okay so slowly the color starts fading and this could still uh take you know one or two more iterations as well okay so it's it's still good to go this one okay so Cornelian cherry, amazing. And I harvested this myself, the Cornelian cherries. We found a local tree here, right? Actually, you know what? Let's do a uh, taste test. Actually, we can do it in the same glass. Should we do it in the same glass? No, let's do it in a different glass. Let's do it. Let's do it in one of the clear glasses. Let's do it in this one. We'll switch it up. Let me put this down. So this is uh, this is liqueur that originally made in uh, uh, 2019, I believe. Okay, the Cornelian cherry. Let's check it out. Have you tried uh, with the juniper? No, we haven't done juniper. I enjoy this, and I don't even drink. <laughs> Like, like, so check this out it, it's not 
very uh, what do you call it uh, reddish anymore cool. let's have a sample of this I'm gonna pour that one in there and then I'm gonna pour the other one so I'm not gonna drink it yet until I pour a little bit in the other one as well Let's bring out. Okay. This one last month. Yeah, it's going to be really strong. This is not ready yet. Okay. And I have a sort of a wet rag here that I'm going to, because your hands get all sticky when you're dealing with this, right? So, check this out. <laughs> yes. Let's check it out. Here's the comparison. Okay. Take a look. So this is from a month ago. This is from last year, the original Cornelian cherries and um what do you call it the i added more vodka to this one last month right let's see if this will focus i have a, it's gonna have a hard time i think there you go right nice let's check it out this one still doesn't have the amazing cornelian cherry essence in it yet I'm gonna taste this one first. Oh, wow, so good. Oh, it does have the Cornelian cherry essence. So in a month, the Cornelian cherry is phenomenal, right? Oh, sharper, delicious, delicious. That one? still has life in it so that one it'll go at least two three more iterations this one <laughs> is rock and roll <laughs> so let's hit this one up salute gang by the way salute and salute wow so good let me cleanse the palettes This one, oof, oof, oof. Yeah. Oh, wow. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So good. Instant phenomenal. <laughs> like in a month, I'm following you with a red fruit tea. Nice, nice. So I'm gonna put a 10 out of 10 on this one. Okay, the raspberry was a 10 out of 10 too, so. Okay, I guess I'm going to have a tequila then. Nice gang, nice. So let's put the Cornelian cherry back. Let's bring the raspberry sticker out and put 10 out of 10 on it. 10 out of 10. We got cherry, we got cherry, we got blackberry, we got strawberry. Peer pressure, Cheryl says. Blueberry, let's try blueberry. Check it out. Check it out. So, this is blueberry July 2020. Okay. And uh, half a cup of sugar. And the, we've already been drinking this, it, it tastes really good. Okay. So let me put this guy down, bring a fresh cup, cleanse the palates. Haha, <laughs> Thai Thug, Margaritaville, <laughs> the song. We have a weird toast that translates to Ma, Ma Health Fall Where He Wants. Ma Health Fall Where He Wants. Blueberry must be so. Blueberry is phenomenal, really good. And oh man, 
the blueberries. Look at this. And by the way, you can eat the fruits out of these, right? So check this out. Here's the blueberry, right? They were really good blueberries, actually. They were like organic, local blueberries. Right? It's going to have a hard time focusing this a little. But let's taste it. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> By the way, gang, if you don't know, the fruits are strong. They retain the vodka flavor, right? The it's like, right? The liqueur, the liquid, is like candy. Let's do one of these in blue. Let's bring out the blue for blueberry. Does it take longer because of the skin uh, on them? Um, it depends. Like uh, the strawberry is quick because of the skin, I believe. It's, it's porous. It goes through. Blueberries, I think, uh, longer, right? Cheryl, actually, I, uh, I have to run and pick up my kiddo from a friend's house. Nice. And then I'll be joining into, so I don't have any room to do these all. I haven't sampled the apple. I made it. Oh, nice. You got apple going on. I still haven't made apple yet. Look at the blueberry. Look at the color on this, right? Here, I'll pull her in this and I'll show it to you. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I had a blueberry. That's good. Oh, yeah. Candy. Candy. I'm going to put 10 out of 10 on this. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. For anyone that loves blueberry flavor, Salute. Wow. So yummy. Very yummy. Even after adding a little bit to it. More sugar, and I'm sure you could reduce reduce it in the pot and make a phenomenal syrup for ice cream or tea. Uh, yeah. And if you let these things sit a while they become thicker like the fruit breaks down and stuff and i've taken some of these liqueurs the older ones and had them with ice cream vanilla and chocolate ice cream so good so good by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not catching them all um i just get a little engaged in everything i do here right i got a lot of things going on right i appreciate them very much i will try to do uh one next year with my blueberry bush oh yeah if you got your own blueberry bush so good buy a straight in kombucha kombucha oh kombucha is really good so i made some grape this year i'm gonna have a little tea I feel like popping an olive. Let's pop an olive. Right? Olives are always good to have uh, something solid. Right? And these ones don't have seeds, so it's really good. Nothing to worry about. Let's do. I'm dying to try out the grape. Let's check out the grape. This is grapes uh, from our patio that you've seen, right? So check it out. And the top gets sort of oxidated, right? Oxygen hits it, the bottom doesn't, which is pretty cool. Most of the fruit reacts this way. And this was August 2020. So I'm not sure, I've never done grape before. 
I'm drinking gin. I'm drinking a blend of three different um, Persian black teas. Like one is. Uh, One has cyan in there, and there's Earl Grey in there, so it's a mix blend. I took, I bought three different packages, and I mix them together. and cycling hello hello hey man good to see you what's your opinion on a vegan lifestyle if it suits you it suits you gina nice how did the cucumber liqueur turn cucumber liqueur was not bad these are the liqueur um this is the sweet one i'll try it out after this one uh the the regular cucumber is not bad as you can tell we drank uh, some of it. it was really good in the summer it was gentle uh so i didn't mind it i don't know if that would be something i would do all the time uh but it was interesting to have, right? It was unique. Um, I tried the, and I added sugar to this one. Out of recommendation, people were saying make liqueur. The other one had no sugar. This one has sugar. Uh, we'll try this after the grape. Let's see what it tastes like. I haven't tried it for a while, so. Oh, wow. Holy camoles. That is phenomenal. A really good gang. Wow, wow, tart, tangy. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. Holy <laughs> gamoli. Really, this is really delicious. Oh, in Paris, I tried cucumber and jalapeno. One that was amazing, strong, but very, very good. Yeah, the cucumber, regular it is a strong flavor right it's not like candy uh, but it, it's refreshing put it in ice really good this thing is so good wow 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 this has got a uh, little bit of sugar on its side so what I'm gonna do is I got a little bit of water here I'm just gonna give it a wipe that's why the lid was a little difficult to open up so I just got a little bowl of water on the side here, right? Uh, what was one of uh, that that one? Sorry, it was away. This one was uh, grape, grape or uh, grapes from the patio. I just made this because I didn't think it was going to be very good, right? Like, take a look at that. I didn't think the grape was going to be very good, but it's phenomenal. I, now I wish I made a whole bunch. We had so much grapes. Very unfortunate. Now we've got to wait another year until the, the harvest again. Really, uh, next time I'm going to make a gigantic, like a really big one. Very unfortunate. This is super good. Wow, wow, wow. Now I'm going to have a little bit more. <laughs> Must be done. <laughs> I should be saving myself, but because uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, sampling to be done. What variety of grape? You know what? I, I don't know what the variety is. I, I don't know what it's called because the grapes, the vines are coming from our neighbors and we sort of jacked them when they came over the thing and I uh, directed them to co come up our uh, our patio stairs and built a wall so the grapes would come in and then built a canopy uh, connecting them up to the, to the ceiling, uh, to the roof. So we have a canopy of grapes that are coming down. I don't know what it is. But it's so good. <laughs> wow. Oop. Little bit of spillage. Oops. That's okay. It's difficult to pour from these, by the way. But it is what it is. Like, look at that. So clear. Right? So clear. Uh, 
oh my god that is one of my favorites really this just became one of my favorite liqueurs wow i gotta taste the grapes i gotta taste the grapes i'm just gonna taste one of them all right i took out one of one of the ones that has you know been oxygen oxygenate oxygenated or closer to the oxygen right let's check it out wow very nice very nice next year 50 gallons of grapes jar grapes jars hey for sure next year i'm gonna make more of this there's no doubt very good that that was surprising i didn't expect it to be this phenomenal i didn't even expect it to be that good very good very good very good 10 out of 10. everything's 10 out of 10. very surprising wow 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 i'm just giving the wipe just get rid of the stickiness a little bit right Let's try the cucumber with sugar. Yes, after a couple of more, everything's done. <laughs> Possibly. Let's try the sweet one. <laughs> wow, that smells weird. Let's check it out. So this is a cucumber with sugar, right? I tasted it before. I wasn't a huge fan, but let's try it again. Let's bring a new glass. Okay. I just discovered your channel two days ago, Chicho. What, Chicho, what microphone do you use? I'm using a Yeti. Uh, love you sharing your life with such joy. Inspiring for 27 year old me. Awesome. I'm glad you're, uh, you're enjoying the content and a pleasure to share. Thank you for being here, right? Trader Joe's. Lonely Piggy, I don't know if the question ever came up, but could you make banana liquor? You know what? It came up before. I was thinking about making it, but I never did. I'm not sure if anybody has made it. I think it would be delicious. The banana at some point will go mushy. Maybe. Right? How much sugar do you put in the cucumber one? Uh, I didn't put very much. I just, I can't remember. Did I write on I didn't write on it. I didn't take the note on it. But we did it during a live stream, so there's a record of it there somewhere. Okay. Let's check this out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I know I, I wasn't a huge fan of it um, before. But it's very nice and clear, right? Let's see. Oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Chicho, uh, when November rolls around, I'll be the guinea pig and try uh, try making it. But okay, awesome, Coolio. Let us know. I gotta clean, uh, cleanse my palate. The grape was amazing. weird flavor what a weird flavor it, it's not bad it's not horrendous but is it good <laughs> I don't know it's unique it's very unique very unique okay now I gotta try the cucumber without the without the sugar you you would have to make it to know to see what the taste is like in paris the lady said to me she just peeled and cut slices of cucumber and 40 jalapenos uh in and that's all yeah the cucumber by the way cucumber you don't have to keep it in there for a long time cucumber and vodka go well together right so if you want to get the cucumber sensation in vodka you can just let it soak for a day or you know or a couple of days 
and then pour yourself drinks with that. So it's uh, like it's very refreshing, very refreshing. And this is the vodka without sugar. I mean, vodka without sugar, cucumber without sugar, right? So let's try this out. Uh, yeah, I'll try it with a new cup, new, new glass. Okay. Now this wouldn't, wouldn't be sweet, but I think salt and cucumber would be good. Oh, maybe, maybe Coolio. Because salt and cucumber go, it's almost a must. Well, not, not a must, but wow, the sucker's sealed. So let's bring in this guy. Cool. I imagine cucumber with sugar to taste like melon. To a certain degree, uh, uh, Randall, but pungent melon. It, it was weird. It was a weird flavor. This smells the same without the sweetness, right? So let's try it out. Again, the color is very clear, right? Very clear. Unique, unique. I like this better than the sweet. So I wouldn't be making sweet cucumber again. But this, for a summer drink, very nice. It's not sweet. Uh, and with ice and stuff for sipping, it, very good. Very good. Stay tuned for the next stream. Drive Chicho for educational purposes. <laughs> you bad. <laughs> By the way, thanks, Carlos. I love it. This was uh, uh, my sister. She was throwing it away like 20 years ago. And I grabbed it. Mine. She was getting rid of it, giving it to whoever she was gonna get it, give it to, right? Not bad, not bad. Let's go to the fruits. Let's go to the fruits. Let me cleanse my palates. Let's pop an olive. So. Cherry. Look at that. Look at the darkness of that. Right? I made two cherries. When the tasting turns into a, a night out at the pub. As you can tell, we've already gone through the cherries, right? So these cherries were July 2020, a third of a cup of sugar in this one. And this one as well. So I didn't make them very sweet third of a cup of sugar in this one as well okay cherry let's do it and it's i don't know if you can hear it it's really windy outside really windy yeah the cherries puff up right and they were big initially but they puffed up a little bit too the cherries were crazy strong Let's pour this one. <laughs> Look at this. Hard time focusing. Beautiful color. I can do some cherry liqueur because I absolutely love eating fruits like that. I have a cherry tree in my garden. Nice. I'm eating three quarters on the tree. Nice. Three quarters of what the tree produces you eat? Man, that's pretty good. Lonely Piggy. I might try my hand at some grapefruit liqueur. Nice. I love grapefruit and I think the 
tart could complement the vodka nicely. Yeah, grapefruit uh, vodka is really good. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Whew. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So delicious. Yeah, very yummy. Yep. 10 out of 10. Should we pop out a cherry? Check this out. Make sure it's not leaking. All right. Will it focus this close? I doubt it. Look at the shine on that, eh? Hey? Look at that. You can see the reflection of the room in this thing. You got the fan up top whirling. Let's put this here. Now these have the pits. What's a good one to make if you've never done it before? Strawberry is easy. I'll bring out the strawberry after this. You'll see the strawberry. Hmm. I'm very nice, the cherry. This cherry one is one of the two go-to ones for me when I mix it with ice cream. The cherry with vanilla or chocolate, phenomenal. Let's bring out the seed and ditch the spoon. Here, we'll put the spoon here. I got more spoons here. So let's close this one off. We're gonna taste the other cherry too. Now for these, because this, I don't want to tilt this, I brought little cups, little things here. Let me grab it. And this is what I've been doing with, um, I'm using a little one right now for the bigger jars. Instead of tilting them, I just tip this in and grab it and pour it in, right? I wonder what type of infused vodka would go well as a base for a Bloody Mary. I forget what a Bloody Mary contains. The Bloody Mary is uh, tomato, is a tomato as well, no? Zayn, how are you doing? Chicho, have you ever tried apricot liqueur? A I made some uh, apricots. I'll show it to you. We'll do strawberry and then apricot. Let's pour this in. Let's put this here. Greetings, hazardous. So it's very much the same color, the cherry. Vodka and tomato juice packed with vegetables. Maybe the cucumber. The cucumber might be good with a Bloody, uh, Bloody Mary. I think mint vodka would be good. Yeah, possibly. Oh yeah, same, fantastic, fantastic. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Very yummy. Oh, I might actually try that one. Uh, what about pickled infused vodka? Could be nice. Could be horrendous. Coolio, you're a guinea pig. Try it out. <laughs> you got banana and pickled infused vodka. <laughs> Let us know, brother. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, let's put these guys back. I'm gonna bring out the strawberries, yeah? You have some, so many cool hobbies and interests, envious, I feel so boring uh, to a guy like you. Uh, eagles and cycling, with age, all I've done is, I've sampled a lot of different things in my life, and I kept the things that made me happy for an extended period of time, right? So I've tried, I mean, one of the things we talked about in personal finance, experience is an investment right so as you're growing older you should be sampling different things in your life and anything that you really find that brings you a lot of pleasure ple uh, pleasure and happiness and 
get you thinking and active and creating, try to include those into your life for an extended period of time, right? That's all I've done. Okay. And I highly recommend it. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry. We're talking about things you love. Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry. X, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Huge. <laughs> the strawberry is delicious. <laughs> experience is an investment, Chicho. Great quote. Experience is a huge investment. Huge investment. Very important investment. Looks so good. How many pet fish <laughs> did you have to get rid of for the jar? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. We've already been hitting this up. Like, we've already been hitting this up. Like, this thing was more than this, right? All the strawberries were covered up in this, right? Uh, up to here. So, we've already taken this down. Okay. We're going to have a piece of uh, sourdough and cheese, right? Kebab, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Check it out. I got a couple of different types of cheese. One is Havarti, and the other one is, um, this side is Havarti, and this side is sort of yellow old fort cheddar or something like this. And this is uh, sourdough bread. I didn't make it. You deserve it, but thank you, man. Before we hit up the strawberry, right? Just change the palette. Hmm, very good. And if you're sampling alcohol, I highly recommend have some food and snacks with you, right? Let's do. And. Let's bring out, no, we've already used that one. What I've done right now is I got a whole bunch of different glasses here and uh, the ones that I'm using up, I'm turning up and the ones, the other ones are down, right? So let's use, doo -doo -doo -doo. no, we keep the orange for orange. Here, we'll use one of these. color on this eh? I poured a little bit uh, a lot <laughs> right. strawberry oh. Candy. <laughs> Very delicious. Very delicious. Ha. Twitch actually sends the thanks in German. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. I just pressed the suggested button from Twitch. Really? That was a suggested button from Twitch? Trader Joe? And it came out in German? Interesting. Is one of you guys in Germany? Chicho accepts thank yous in all languages. Indeed, indeed, Coolio. That, suffice it to say, ta da 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 Okay, let's put this big boy back and then we'll crack open the other big boy. Mm. 
I think those ones, uh, friends that come over for a liqueur party will be quite happy. Carlos Chicho, do you use vodka for all of them? And if so, what brand of vodka? I'm wondering if you can use darker liqueur. Um, I think lighter liqueur is better because dark liqueur already has a flavor. It's dark because it's been flavored. It's it's been uh, you know sitting in wooden, wooden barrels or whatever it is, right? It's already they're already infused with flavor. Uh, I have used gin before, so I got one bottle here. This little guy. This is blackberry with gin. Check it out from 2012 right um, it was okay and it was uh it wasn't flavored gin but gin is uh, gin can be neutral or flavored gin like gin is they can use a lot of flowers herbs and stuff right so for me it's important to have neutral because i want the flavor of the fruits to come out one person mentioned that you can use rum but not dark rum light rum um, because first of all rum has a lot of sugar it's sweet so you don't necessarily need to add too much sugar so using light rum white rum has been suggested before and this was a person that um, a person that was uh, I forget what the word is where they uh, their job is alcohol so I forget what they were exactly doing but uh, they recommended it and they said it was really good um, it's a good idea to use those. Okay. Very nice stream. Lupi007, thank you. Yes, I'm from Germany. Ah, nice. So that's why it's scented in German. Very cool. Blackberry with gin from two, so the end of the Mayan calendar was the beginning of the Blackberry gin. No, Blackberry gin began. Oh, Blackberry gin, yes. Beginning of Blackberry gin. But Blackberry liqueur for me started many moons ago many moons ago traders rose yes i am from Germ germany chicho cool the the in uh, my nickname is our national country code oh de international is g-e-r i love how you intuitively said my name out right nice nice <laughs> without the de <laughs> nice awesome i have relatives in germany i have cousins that live in germany and I visited your country once, and it was uh, it was really nice. And they've been there for a long time, a gazillion years. Strawberry liqueur. I should be taking it more easy on this, right? <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Maybe we should give it a nine point five, right? But for now, we just say ten. I'm not gonna bother eating the strawberries here. I'll show you. Here, I'll actually do it over a plate because I don't want any spillage. I'll show you the and then I'll put it back because I know it's going to be crazy strong take a look that's what it looks like right it becomes pale and the vodka flavor in the strawberry is intense very strong very strong So let's close this off. We still have our strawberry liqueur here. <laughs> I have to eat it. I can't eat it, Randall. This is super strong. It's super strong. Should I pop it? Let's pop it. Let's pop it. Let's eat it. I should have grabbed a smaller one. Let's bring it out. Here, let's cut it actually. Let's see the inside. Nice. 
Very cool. Take a look. All right. <laughs> Calling it 10 out of 10. With the strawberry out like this, it's more than that now. Take a look. Oh. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. We won't use that as a thumbnail. It might get censored. <laughs> so powerful. So powerful, so powerful. We have some renegade drinkers in here tonight, all the God says. Imagine censoring a strawberry. You never know, you never know. I recommended it before, Graham says. But the Flavor Bible is a good book for learning about flavor aff uh, affinities and what goes good together. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Julio, Chicho just had the same thought as me, and I think all oh, many other people. Fun. Well, let me close it properly. It wasn't closed properly. A bit of an unnecessary censorship could be funny. <laughs> Fun. I'm gonna clean, cleanse the palate, Chicho. Which vodka do you use for all these? Uh, I'm using Absolute. Just because I trust it, uh, and it's something that uh, I've been using for a long time, right? Salute, gang. I'm gonna pop uh, cheese. You should offer seasonal chicho. <laughs> Elder God shit for sure. Elder God, at some point, I think you made a ton of cherry liqueurs, didn't you? Swedish vodka. Yeah, absolute. And Swedes, they can drink. Orange. I don't have a label on this. I made this in probably July as well. Cross-promoting, cross-merchandising. Cross-promoting, cross-merchandising. Yeah. Is there any added sugar in it? Or solely fruit uh, sugar? Uh, no, I add... Uh, I add... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cane sugar. Hello everyone, Chase26, how are you doing? I've already hit up uh, hit up this guy. Oh, smells amazing. Smells so good. Okay, we bring the orange out for the orange. Finns may disagree with that statement. Oh, I'm pretty sure Finns would. Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, Chase. Sorry, Chicho, I'm not the chemist. I'm the whole wholesaler. <laughs> nice kebab chicho. Have you seen the new um, Borat the Borat, Borat movie? No, I'm, and I won't. Uh, I'm after. Uh, is that the one you're talking about? Before I continue, but we should keep politics on politics streams. I think uh, Borat. Yeah, it's the Borat one. Uh, no, I stopped. Sasha Cohen. Once he went on to ADL to give his support and speech for the ADL and 
basically became a propaganda piece uh, I stopped liking them in a big way right oh organic lemon should be so cool to make yeah I actually there's another one I made organic lemon here as well well sample that as well that one's fantastic because I I replenish my lemon liqueur I'll show it to you let's let's sample the orange for now Oh, this smells amazing, amazing. Let's put this guy here. Look at this. A little bit cloudy, but that's okay. And the cloud is just, you know, little bits of orange peels and stuff in there, right? Or not peels, but orange. doesn't want to focus there we go right yeah I, I've been following I follow Sasha Cohen's work from 2000 I guess when he was putting out some of the stuff uh, but uh, no it's not my thing anymore wow that is phenomenal very unique very unique strong I wouldn't say 10 out of 10 because it might be a little bit too much for some people to kick because the flavor initially is like the orange beautiful and there's a little bit of to it right wow really good really good Nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> Orange. Orange. I think it was July two thousand, or sorry, July twenty twenty. Uh, nine point five out of ten. Nine or nine point five out of ten. We'll give it nine point five. But forget the, forget the. Let's talk liqueur. Let's talk liqueur. Let's talk liqueur. Let's talk liqueur. Next year. Ooh. Look where you're grabbing. Don't try to read something and go for a... Elder God, I know what you're thinking. Next year, I will have to invest on Absolute's action because uh, I'm gonna have to buy 50 bottles of auction, uh, uh, actions, because bottles if I want to do all of the jars I want. Nice, <laughs> Elder God. Very delicious, very delicious. Okay, let's put the orange back. Actually, the orange might need a little bit of top up. No, no, no. We'll leave it alone. I'll wait until it goes down a little bit more, right? Like it's here right now. I'll wait until it goes down to here before topping it up. Okay, what do we got? Ah, uh, the elderberry I made in September. We went elderberry harvesting again. Uh, we made elderberry. We made elderberry. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Elderberry. Let me show you. Elderberry and elderberry. So take a look at this. Both of these are elderberry. This is from 2018. They're both from 2018 right so these are elderberries from 2018 I went elderberry harvesting again okay I wonder what the cashier thinks when Chicho hands her 50 bottles of absolute just <laughs> they go Chicho you got a problem the freedom liqueur the freedom liqueur so this is here, I'll bring out the same size bottle so you see the color difference, right? <laughs> Look at this, this elderberry is just floating, right? So here's the elderberry from 2018. You can see the elderberries have already sunk down, right? And the color is darker. Here's the el elderberries from this year, and the elderberries are floating still, right? And the color is not as dark, right? So this is from 2018. This is from uh 2020 from like 
September, right? I should put September here. Oh, I did put September. Nice. September on there. Okay. This these elder berries are phenomenal. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do a taste test between them. Why not? Let's see the progression on these. So this is 2020 or 2018 and this one is 2020 nice. and the uh, elderberries look like caviar right so okay how we're we gonna do this we're going to do this like this. I'm just going to give this one a little rinse. Okay. And let's bring out this guy. Try out the elderberries. So I'm going to take a little bit from the old one from 2018. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more. Just to show you the color and i've added vodka to this this has this has had iterations on it okay and let's do green with the 2000 oh look at the color on this look at that phenomenal oh yeah very nice <laughs> very nice very nice let's do a little wipe on this cool this one is 2018 here i'm going to close these up just in case got to be careful with these things we've got a lot going on right syrupy and this one is 2020 This one's 2018. Did you put sugar? I did. Yeah, for sure. Everything, all the liqueurs have sugar except the bigger cucumber one. Okay. Chicho, every night I taste, test a whole bottle of vodka. And this, is this is a problem. Kebabs, it could be. <laughs> so 2018, iterations. It's gone through a couple of iterations at least. This is 2020 from a month ago. Right. Take a look. So much darker, the 2021, right? Fantastic. Let's have a taste test. Not sure if the poor computers, poor cameras having a hard time focusing on this. Right? Oh, wow, this one tastes crazy or smells crazy. So strong very strong right because uh, yeah Punisher Max but a nice name Punisher Max it's um, it's used up a lot of the essence of the elderberries already we've already gone through at least two iterations of the 2018 one right and I just recently added the vodka oh yeah check this out here's a label right the 2018 added vodka in september september 2020 right so september 2020 so the vodka is only a month old so really strong really strong Whew. you're supposed to say that elder god you own a pub Now let's try the 2021. The color on this is crazy. Look at the color on that. So nice. Right. 
Wow, smells pungent. N reminds you of Nujabas, Carlos. The color of that liqueur reminds me of Nujabas's for some reason. Nujabas for some reason. I have this habit of seeing colors of all types of relating them to someone. Oh, really? That's cool. Nujabas was amazing, right? Wow. Whoa. Crazy. What a flavor. The elderberries on this one were from a different variety of elderberries because there's a elderberries they have a whole I think there's like a few different varieties of trees. The tree on this one, the 2021 was different than the tree on this one. The tree from the 2018 one was in our yard, right? This one was from a park. And it's it's got a pungent flavor to it. Weird flavor. Rank. So this stuff won't go bad even if you open it from time to time. Is it because of the alcohol? Yeah. And the sugar. Like I have liqueurs that are 40 years old, right? Like literally 40 years old. It's more syrup now and paste, but they're very good. This is crazy. That is unique. What a weird flavor. I know people would that would love this. It's got a pungent taste to it. Oh, just got back and poured a sample of the apple. It's good, but so strong, Cheryl. When did you make it, Cheryl? When did you make it? Okay, this elderberry from uh, 2018, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Okay. 8 out of 10 because as you iterate it the candiness goes away this one from 2020 what a weird flavor I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 as well it's it's crazy flavor and a team of staff to give me ideas and a team of staff to give you for your I don't drink spirits as a general rule. yeah spirits are harder on the body by the way gang uh, who was it uh, that wrote Barfly? The oh, what was the writer's name? He basically he was an alcoholic, and he basically said switching from spirits to drinking wine extended his life for a decade because he wasn't going to stop drinking. But uh, Bugowski, Bugowski, Charles Bugowski, I think, isn't it? Uh, so spirits are harder on the body, right? much harder than the body 40 year old liqueur wow. what that's dedication i'm to uh that was my grandfather my grandfather made that liqueur and it found its way to me that's 15 year old then me <laughs> me that you've kept up with those 40 year old liqueurs i can't even keep this something up for a few months ah carlos you will you will man you will you will trust me three weeks ago oh three weeks ago maybe four i forgot to label it cheryl me too i forgot to label these things right i had a problem with my peach liqueur of it being too sweet can't do much there uh, you basically you can you if it's too sweet by the way if you make liqueur if it's too sweet pour it into ice and soda so drink soda liqueur it's just like a pop until you work the liqueur down right and then when you add more vodka you shake it and the sweetness is decreased so that's the way i end up doing things right i'm going to put the 2018 back where where 2018 belongs and let's put this one here Try raspberry. Let's do apricot. 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 These are apricot July 2020. Half a cup of sugar. Take a look at this thing. Now, obviously, when drinking this, right? So the top here is exposed to the air, oxygen. So it's oxygenated, right? So it's gone brown the bottom 
no oxygen. It's still preserved, right? So fantastic. And the apricot tastes great. Right? And I made them both uh, the same style. They, oh, I haven't done the lemon. We'll do apricot and then we'll do the lemon. I'm sampling liqueur. My 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 short term memory is gone. <laughs> so we won't bother tasting both of them because they're both the same, right? But they were very delicious. But before we do that, let's pop another cheese in. Cheese and sourdough. Okay. Very good. Can you send me back to 2018? I actually made it <laughs> to 1994. Only had a heaping quarter C of sugar. Quarter cup of sugar, that's it. And since I didn't label it, I'll just toss in some honey. Nice. <laughs> Let's do apricot. Cloudy, milky. Chicho, are these all vodkas? Yeah, sorry, I missed it. That was explained. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't be if if like if I'm if I had liqueur, like let's say this side was gin and this side was vodka, I wouldn't constantly be switching between gin and vodka. If for me, it's a no no to go flipping between spirits, uh, except unless it's like vodka and maybe you could have a little bit of cognac but if i if i'm drinking vodka i don't bring in gin or rum or anything else uh stick to one spirit phenomenal salute salute gang so good apricot is amazing tangy delicious i reckon banana would look like yellow milk <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> probably it might maintain contain itself i don't know very curious gotta make wow the apricot so nice tangy apricot is amazing by the way right wow 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 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 <laughs> the apricot so good so good nice let's lock this up Let's put these more in one hand at a time. Don't double fist it. This one. Lost the label. So the last liqueurs. The last liqueurs I have over here. Oh, we're going to do the lemon. Let's do the lemon. Hold on. The last liqueurs I have here, I made four blackberries. Actually, we made four blackberries. I gave one of the jars away or we gave one of the jars away to uh, friends as a housewarming gift. But let's try the lemon. Let me show you. Here's the lemon. Okay. If you recall, this thing was full of lemon from lemon liqueurs that I made in 2011, 2010, right? So we finished those ones up. We still have a little bit of lemon pieces that we put in the water and we drink it as lemon. But basically what I did, I cut up new lemons and made a new batch. Okay. 
And this is fantastic. This one isn't very sweet. This one isn't very sweet. So let's bring out one more of these guys. The smell is amazing. Here, let me bring this guy. Yeah, smells so good. Wow, wow, wow. Take a look. That's a lot of lemon. A lot of liqueur. Let's do this. I'm trying to look at the screen and pour it. Yeah, lemon is so good. Really, it's phenomenal. <laughs> so probably it does maybe need it before <laughs> end of stream. Look at the color on that. Very nice, very nice. It's crazy that basically we have like four different liqueurs that are clear like this, right? Same color completely different flavor wow this thing is just smells amazing oh, very nice salute gang salute very delicious very delicious and gang thank you for the follows Thank you for the subs. <laughs> Cheryl. We're gonna pop. Let's pop a cuckoo. This is a whole bunch of herbs. This stuff called zeresh is a Persian thing. So uh, sort of like a tangy berry mixed in there. Very nice. Here's to another 10 years of drinking lemon liqueur. The last one we'll try, we'll do blackberry after this. Yeah. I'll show you my blackberry. Wow, this thing is coming into its own. When the lemon liqueur come to its comes to its own, it's amazing. The lemon liqueur I probably sample more often than the rest, frequency wise, just because it's really good for the tummy. Really, it's good for the tummy. It's a great uh, aperitif, you call it, after food when you when you're eating a meal. It helps break down, helps you digest. It's it's really good. It's really good. Blackberry liqueurs. And these are blackberries that we picked, right? Here's one jar. This is August 2020. Okay. Blackberry liqueur. Whatever jars we find, we do, right? <laughs> Switch to Samsung, Blackberry is dead. Do you know why Blackberry is dead, Gina? Because governments came in and they said no privacy. I wrote an article on this, by the way. Should I find you the link? Let me find you the link. Let me find a link. Blackberry's business model did not suit, go well with governments that could not uh, allow people to have privacy and anonymity. One of the first governments that did this was Saudi Arabia, that they said they wanted uh, 
the surveillance this is what I called the article by the way and I wrote this uh, in 2013 but I believe this is an article that I actually wrote up pre 2013 that I shared on my previous site and here let me link it up for you and at the time Saudi Arabia came in and said they want the keys to be able to access everyone's messages Blackberry says we don't have the keys that it's it's privacy by design right and at the time the Western you know Western powers oh Saudi Arabia bad they want pri a year later Obama came out and said no we want access to everyone's emails we want to be able to we want to be able to access everyone's messages and blackberry's model collapsed right there's a lot of history regarding censorship and privacy blackberry good thing governments can't kill our blackberry liqueurs right lemon bro i mean <laughs> i'm mexican lemon liqueur is a must i'm going to keep you updated on how it goes gracia ah my brother my pleasure carlos <laughs> yeah lemon liqueur it's it, it has to be in the house right it has to be in the house yeah i know fan fan james bond they will they will be taxing you soon on every liquor you make. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Ah, nice. We've gone through. Let me, t let me tell you what, what we had here. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I had 23... I don't know what you call them shot glasses elder god what do you call these like liquor sampling thing we had 23 on them uh, 23 of, of them out we used up uh, four four uh, so eight so 23 minus eight <laughs> we used up 15 so we've had 15 probably more because uh, 15 samplings right lemon lemon cello is so nice this is i believe this is on the same level of, as that it, but it's very pure lemon flavor right oh yeah this thing should taste good should taste amazing let's check it out the color is fantastic Woohoo! rock and roll and blackberries is, is the first liqueur really that i made myself beautiful color beautiful color oh yeah fantastic so good yeah yeah very good very good they are three different jars so maybe we should sample each one very delicious since this is the last batch that we're gonna sample let's do one more on this make sure they all taste the same right wow that's a beautiful how old is that red one this one is i just made this one in august august 2020 right and i didn't add very much sugar the blackberries this year were absolutely phenomenal gang if you're into harvesting foraging for berries and stuff really good this this season in my part of the world the blackberries were amazing made blackberry jam made blackberry liqueur and we ate a whole bunch of blackberries right this is the same blackberries that we made jam with <laughs> part of your house is a gold mine indeed oh so good so good like phenomenal hello supreme leader of twitch oh 
wow, wow, wow. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a gold mine. Check this out. That's the first appearance of Guy Gardner, John Stewart in terms of comic books, Green Lanterns, right? First appearance of Guy Gardner. This is Green Lantern number 59. This is Green Lantern number 87. That's Monstrous number one and two. That's uh, Bozo the Clown from 1952, I believe, or 1950. It's number two, but it's really the number one. That That's Ruti Kazuti. Both of these are pretty cheap, but they're beautiful. Like I love the uh, Ruti Kazuti cover that I've shown you guys before. Okay, fantastic. Really delicious. Really, all the liqueurs are ready. All the liqueurs are ready. They don't need any messing around with. Hey, Chicho, how are you doing, my friend? Doing fantastic, Intrepid, how are you doing? Welcome to liqueur stream. We're almost at the end, I think. We've gone through, we've sampled everything here. We've sampled like at least, I don't know what we're doing right now. We sampled a few, uh, uh, few of the fruit liqueurs. Okay, this one we need to go in there with, with one of these cups because I can't tilt that. That's too big. Oh, look at the color on this! Our last drink. Make it a stiff one. <laughs> Oh, very nice, very nice. Look at that. Look at the deep, dark purple and that's black, blackberry. Holy guacamole. <laughs> this part of the house should be a museum. Hey, Chicho. Greetings from Argentina. Greetings, Argentina. How are you doing? I love orange. Orange liqueur was really good. We sampled orange liqueur. That's a nice deep color. It's phenomenal, really. Almost as red as red wine. Yeah, I would say it is like same color as red wine. Yes, Chicho Liqueur Museum with free samples, hopefully free samples, free samples. Indeed. One day we do we combine a liquor museum and a comic book museum together. Port glasses, yeah, actually port glasses, right? These ones, uh, these ones I would consider shot glasses, really. Like these ones, but port glasses, yeah, Elder God, that's a good way of, uh, good category for them to be in. It's new and looks beautiful. I will try make my make for my father. Uh, Dankit, your father would love you even more than he does right now, if that's even possible. And a cigar museum, Gina. <gasps> Just imagine having a house where you got liqueurs with leather couches where you can sip liqueurs and smoke cigars and go into the uh, comic book museum, bring comic books and read them. Done deal. We do. Beautiful. Salute, gang. Chicho, why was a science teacher cross-eyed? Because she couldn't control her pupils. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. When you're, that's one of the best things. And Elder God will attest to this. That's one of the best things when it comes to getting together with friends and sampling liqueurs and stuff. Is the brutal jokes that pop up every now and then. <laughs> Love them. Don't forget vintage video, video games and a video game room. Oh my God, Cheryl, yes. Chicho Cigar Street. Yeah, at some point I will. At some point I will, Kebabs. And by the way, we did a, a stream where we looked at a Cuban cigar catalog and talked about cigars a little bit. Heaven on Earth. Good joke I heard at an afternoon <laughs> brunch while drunk and it killed me. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> How do you make these liqueurs? Uh, liqueurs are, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a liqueur playlist there and I go through them. And at the beginning of this video, we made pomegranate liqueur. We made basically two of these guys, right? Two of these guys. Add fruit, add sugar, add vodka. In this, fill it up full of pomegranates, add half a cup of sugar 
or organic cane sugar and fill it up with vodka simple let it sit for for pomegranates to start tasting good let it sit for about a month uh, and start sampling it for other liqueurs it varies anywhere between two weeks to two months okay I will not be saying any jokes elder god <laughs> you must have at least one clean joke don't you elder god elder god do you i can't i have dirty jokes and i can't say them i was recently gifted el rey do mundo cigars uh in a whole 25 of them nice what uh what size kebabs what gauge i think it cost around 500 dollars. so that would be a heavier gauge like a 48 or something 47 El Rey do Mundo is a great brand, by the way. Cool. I will watch the video and learn how to make them. Thanks. My pleasure, Liam. And as you can guess, you might get carried away. A 48 gauge. Fantastic kebab. Man, if I had a 48 gauge right now, I'd be lighting it up. Really. There's Robusto. Oh, fantastic. Robusto. Four five inches four and a half inches 48 gauge <sighs> kebabs happy smoking and salute i hope you enjoy if i had uh, torpedoes would be amazing right now and robustos are fantastic and double coronas double coronas are uh, ring gauge 48 as well i believe uh, really good and they go amazing with liqueurs I know a lot of fruit jokes, but I can't say them. <laughs> Salute, kebabs. Salute. Very nice. That's Jesus and his apostles. Jesus and his apostles around the table. Jesse says, 2x squared plus 4x plus 8. His apostles say are saying, we don't understand what you are saying jesus jesus says that's normal it's second degree <laughs> fat james bond also a math joke <laughs> second degree fantastic gina i would love an asmr video with you sitting by the fireplace smoking a cigar call it the chicho yule log to celebrate the end of his uh anas horribus i don't know what that is Yule log celebrate the end of his anus or I are we talking about Yule Brenner? That's what I'm written. That's what I'm associating that with. Carlos. Okay. For now we shall converse in a mild tone to not discomfort anyone. But I got to hear them next time. We see, we see. Hey Chicho, have you ever uh make uh live uh teaching about fractals? Uh we've talked about them. I haven't made a specific video on fractals because here in Brazil they don't get so deep in math for elementary school and high degree actually fractals horrible year ain't this horrible oh horrible year is that what it is that's what it means anus horrib horribilis Annu annual oh is that what it is horrible year ah we would need a few cigars for that Gina <laughs> and a lot of a couple of bottles of this <laughs> it's only 3 p.m fortunately it's saturday saturday nice 3 p.m yeah 3 p.m my time that's right cheryl laughs hilarious hilarious fun gang thanks for being here gang i'm glad that we only went through this side this is all the new ones that i wanted to sample i topped off some of these ones as well um the liqueur one was uh, the lemon one was new here right this one and obviously this thing is new <laughs> and i topped up a couple of other ones but this is the older ones that i'll will go through at some point when i get some more vodka and i'll let them sit a little bit and we're gonna sample these ones when we need to refresh everything probably do one where we go through everything and start topping things up again right i hope you get a chance to make your own liqueurs gang uh, really it's a good addition to your household it's it could be medicinal if you use it properly uh, it's fantastic uh, aside from that gang thank you for being here thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the comments thank you for the interactions I'm glad uh, 
you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying some drinks, some great food, uh, great company, nice jokes. <laughs> What can I think of a clean joke? I can't even think of a clean joke right now, gang. Really, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Uh, aside from that, uh, for my closing, if you want to know who I am, what I'm up to, what this is all about, I think your logs uh, may be more American. They just burn a uh, symbolic log to to do during Christmas. Not sure what is uh, what is uh, symbolizes. Oh, that's what they are. They're the one log that they show pictures of burning. I'm so late, Spider-Man. We're, we're signing off, brother. We're signing off. We had a good Saturday. We had a good Saturday. I hope you're doing well, man. Gang, full fun stream, Chicho. Thanks. My pleasure, Cheryl. You too. You too. Thank you for being here. I have 10 people in my pub drinking. It's 11 p.m. That's it? 10 people? I thought you were... Oh, because of lockdowns and stuff. Fan, we are nose arc of functions suddenly noah ex ex exclaims we're drive driving we're driving to functions panic the exponential she replies it's not so bad for what that change for for what that change changes for me haha <laughs> exponential function logarithmic right is exactly midnight here in germany have a good night have a good night gang Gang, if you want to know what this is all about, aside from the cures and, and funny jokes, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, if you want to know what this is all about, which is all layered on mathematics, and thank you for the math jokes, all layered on mathematics and free speech and sharing information, you can follow the work on Patreon. For those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for your support it is large part because of your support that we're able to continue this work and bring the vision together okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat and in these live streams and you got your own jokes to tell you want to participate on twitch and gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the conversations thank you for being here mods thank you for taking care of business coolio oh before you go are you posting part three of the salvia book reading in the next few days i got to catch up on what i missed coolio i posted it this morning about a couple of hours before we went live right it's already up on bitshoot and youtube the th part three i like doing things in sets right so we did salvia reading part one part two part three pop 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 the odds are I'll probably release this video tomorrow or the next day, okay? The math video, I'm gonna hold off on releasing it until we do the um, do the two math ones. We're gonna do a math stream next week, right? So probably do two math ones together. Great stream, man. Thank you very much, uh, Skellogs, Cornflakes. You're one of the best here on Twitch. Thank My pleasure, uh, Dan Danket thank you for being here great stream gang i announced these streams 30 minutes before we go live on elo minds vk parlor gab and twitter if you fall want to follow the work on social networks those social networks are available and if you go to our twitch page irrelevant if we're streaming or not if you go into chat and type in exclamation mark social it'll give you all the links for our social networks okay for live streams we don't have any visuals involved and i'm not moving around as much we upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcast when we do open discussions and those podcasts are available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube salute gang i hope you have a fantastic fantastic saturday and if you're on those platforms you want to support this work you can like share comment and if you're on youtube joining youtube membership is a great way to support this project and for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for the support oh yeah and what are you cooking up tomorrow tomorrow we're doing a cooking live stream starting at 1 p.m pdt my time and we're going to make a persian dish we're going to make a lentil rice dish with um, lamb in the bottom of the platter so we're going to cook up lamb 
cook up rice, cook up lentils, and put the thing together with bread in the bottom to make tadik. And we're gonna cook it in the in the oven, okay? And then uh, we're gonna make raisin and date and onion with uh, cinnamon side that you mix with the rice and eat it. And if I can put in a couple of more things in there, I will, but our hands might be busy. So that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a Persian dish. Wait, a Persian dish? Elder God, Persian dish. And it's phenomenal, so good, I can't wait. <laughs> Sounds delicious, yum. Very, very yummy, okay? Gang, I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. And if you can make it, tomorrow, cooking. Monday, I think we do current events, politics. Tuesday, I think we talk about entheogens or personal finance. There's a personal finance there somewhere, an entheogen somewhere. And on October 30th and 31st, we're reading comic books and 29th i believe we're doing another math stream okay kashara taught me much <laughs> oh yeah that streamer sounds so good ever tried peanut sauce in uh very good with roasted uh, I, yeah i have it's good i've never made it i've had it in restaurants post the ingredients maybe i'll get them and cook along coolio rice lentils um flatbread lamb onions uh, raisins and dates and cinnamon those are the ingredients we need okay have a fantastic saturday gang bye for now